Creating an entry on the mobile app is simple. Once the app has loaded up, simply click the blue cross at the bottom of the screen and then select the record a diary option. A CPD diary is anything that you've done historically in the past, planning to do today, or planning to do for the future. So you can amend things that you've historically done, that you are currently planning to do today, and that you also plan to do for the future using this one simple form. In the title option, you simply need to type the title of the event or the learning activity that you are taking place. In the hours box, you simply need to put the amount of hours that you took part in that learning activity. The start date will automatically default to today, but if you need to, you can backdate that by clicking on the date option and going back, changing month or years as appropriate. You don't need to select the end date unless this particular learning activity has gone beyond several days or beyond a 24 hour period. Once you're happy, click save and continue. Your governing body should default to whichever you have set in your profile, but you can change this option, which allows you to equally use this mobile app to record your CPD for multiple governing bodies. The arranged in option is how you've taken part in this learning, so whether you've done it as part of your job role, whether you've done it as part of being a student at university or at college, or whether you've taken part in learning in your own time. The category this CPD activity relates to depends on whichever category this relates to in relation to how you've taken part in this learning. So for this particular one, I'm going to put on here that it's a thank you letter. If I want to map this to the NHS Knowledge and Skills Framework, I can do so, but I also have the option to hide that in my entries. Click on Save and Continue. I can then select this text box, and this is the box that is asking me what I have done, why I have done it, and how this might change or influence my practice. And if I need some support, I can click the simple question mark and answer those questions. The great thing about the mobile app is you can also click the dictate option at the bottom right hand corner and you can dictate your text into this field. I recently attended a patient who kindly sent me a thank you letter, full stop. I recall attending this patient and it was an elderly gentleman who I managed to leave at home with his wife Tina who were being cared for by external carers, full stop. They had suffered a very small injury and throughout my skills and knowledge I was able to apply some of this and leave them safely at home with some safety nets and some further advice including worsening and safety netting full stop. As a result this couple kindly wrote a thank you letter via their daughter which came into my NHS trust full stop. As you can see it often is very good if you're in a nice quiet environment and if you need to make any changes or amendments you can simply just hold your finger on the screen and then you can appropriately change it or amend it as necessary. Once you're happy click on save and continue and then because this is mapped to HCPC I can map it to my standards but please don't tick these standards if you don't understand why you're mapping them to your particular piece of work. Once you're happy click save and continue you then have the option to add a web address so you can add a web address if there's e-learning or online learning involved. If you need a reminder of this particular piece of CPD to update it in a period of time, then click that option and the app and the email system will remind you in around 12 months to review this. And if you need to capture and attach some evidence, you can do so by clicking the capture option and then select evidence from my files, from the scanner option, from your camera, gallery, voice recording or files. So for this instance, I'm going to do document scanner and I'm going to scan the thank you letter that I got sent. Now as long as you're in a well lit environment that should nicely shape off the thank you letter but if you need to amend it you can do so by touching the four corners. Once you're happy with that click on to next and then you can see there that it's nicely squared off that thank you letter. But this particular thank you letter does contain some sensitive information so this now is going to ask me if I want to censor any part of it and that might be because I don't want to include that within my portfolio or there might be sensitive information that actually I don't want to be revealed to a second or third party. So I'll click yes to censor or no to not. I then have the option to simply touch the screen 
and this will blank off anything at all that contains anything that's identifiable within this particular piece of uploaded evidence. So as you can see, it's very easy for me to simply touch the screen and amend that or click onto it and move it around if necessary. And if I need to correct that, I simply touch the big blue button at the bottom right and then that will allow me to decenter it. Once I'm happy with that, I can simply click onto the done option at the very top and then that will save that particular piece of entry. I can tag this as thank you letter, which will easily allow me to find it at some point in the future. And as you can see there now, I have my entries, I have the thank you letter, and if I click onto preview, that will preview that particular entry for me with the text that I have dictated and also a copy of the thank you letter behind it. If you need to amend or change that particular entry, you can preview, edit, share or delete it by simply tapping on that specific entry. If you have any questions, please do drop us an email or of course you can WhatsApp us by scanning the QR code or directly from inside the app.